Hello everyone, Mr. Gazinski here. I've got uh, Systems of Linear Equations, IXL's 8th grade math skills. This is the last skill in Section AA. Solve a system of equations using elimination, specifically word problems. So we're going to write a system of equations to describe this situation, then we're going to solve it using elimination, and then we're going to fill in the blanks. Okay, so an employee at a party store is assembling balloon bouquets. For a, grad, for a graduation party, he assembled one balloon bouquet and three large balloon bouquets, which is a total of 62 balloons. Okay, so for this, this is for the graduation party. Um, then for Father's Day celebration, he used 181 balloons to assemble one small balloon bouquet and 10 large balloon bouquets. How many balloons are in each bouquet? Okay, so um, one small and three large used 62 balloons. So one small and three large used 62 balloons. So uh, I could put a one in front of that S, but one S is the same as S. Uh, then for Father's Day, he used 181 balloons to, uh, to assemble one small bouquet and 10 large. That was 182, 181 total balloons. Okay, so there's a linear, linear system. Um, we just need to solve it. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, first equation and just multiply it by negative 1. So it'll be negative s minus 3l equals negative 62. And then the second equation, I'm not going to change it at all. I'll just leave it the same. Uh, so s plus 10l equals 181. And the reason I did that is because now the coefficients of the s terms are opposites. They add up to 0. So now I can add up everything else to negative 3l plus 10l is 7l. And negative 62 plus 181 is 119. And then I can solve this equation to figure out the number of balloons in a large bouquet because 119 divided by 7 is 17. So 17 balloons in a large bouquet. Uh, we still have to figure out how many are in the small. So what I'll do is I'll come over here and I'm going to take, I can take either equation, but I'll just take this bottom one. And I'm going to plug that 17 in for L. Oops, switched colors on me. And once I plug that 17 in, I can solve this for S. So it's going to be S plus 170 equals 181. And when I subtract 170 from both sides, we get S equals 11. So 11 balloons in a uh, small bouquet and 17 in a large one. Let's do this again. Um, Belleville Ice Cream Parlor. One group of friends ordered five small servings of ice creams and five large servings of ice cream uh, for $30. So the first group did five small and five large for $30. Another group um, of friends ordered two small servings of ice creams and four large servings for $22. So that's enough to make two equations out of this situation. If we do standard form here, it's called. Um, Five small plus five large equals thirty dollars, and two small and five large equals nope, four large, sorry. Equals twenty two dollars. So now we have to solve this equation. So what I'm going to do is um, maybe we'll, we'll get the um, L's to cancel out. So I'll multiply the top equation by negative 4. And the bottom equation I'm going to multiply by 5. So watch what happens when I do that. I'll get negative 20s minus 20L equals negative 120 and by 5 down here, so 10s and 20l equals 110. 
And the reason I did that is because when I add them together, the L terms will cancel out, and then I can add everything else together too. Negative 20s plus 10s is negative 10s. Negative 120 um, plus 110 is negative 10. When I divide both sides by negative 10, I will get positive 1. So the ice cream costs $1 for a small serving. Now we just got to figure out the large serving. So I'll come over here and do 2 times $1 for a small serving plus 4 times L equals 22. So it's 2 plus 4L equals 22. Subtract 2 from both sides, and we get 20. And divide both sides by 4, and we get $5 for a large serving. All right, so we've got to get one variable to eliminate, and then use that solution to figure out the other um, variable. Mario's Pizza just received two big orders from customers throwing parties. The first customer, Tyler, bought one regular pizza and seven deluxe pizzas for $148. The second uh, customer, Jeffrey, he ordered seven regular and nine deluxe, and his total was $236. So there's our two equations. Uh, a regular plus seven, I'm going to use lowercase as a matter of fact. So a regular one and seven deluxe equals $148. And seven regular and nine deluxe is 236 total. So I think the easiest way to solve this one is just to multiply the top equation by negative seven. So negative seven R minus 49 D equals, and now I have to get my calculator out because I'm doing 148 times 7, and I don't know that in my head, times negative 7 actually, is negative 1,036. The second equation, I'll just leave it alone. 7R plus 9D um, equals 236. Now I can add these two equations together, and when I do that, the R values will cancel out. Negative 49D plus 9D is negative 40D. And negative 1,036 plus 236 is negative 800. When I divide both sides by negative 40, I'll get the price of a deluxe pizza, which is $20. So a deluxe is 20. Then I'll plug that 20 in. In fact, I'm going to take it and plug it into this equation. It's already got... 1R, so it'll be a little bit easier to solve. So I'll go 1 plus 7 times 20 equals 148. R plus 140 equals 148. And then subtract 140 from both sides, and we see that a regular pizza costs $8. So $8 for a regular and 20 bucks for a deluxe. One more. Baseball coach, she, oh, it's another pizza problem here. Baseball coach takes her uh, team out for pizza every time they win a game. Not everyone can come every time, so she orders pizzas based on how many players are coming. After last week's victory, she bought four small and four large, the perfect amount for 20 players. Um, this week, there were 13 players going, so she ordered one small and three large. Okay, so four small and four large equals is enough for 20 players and one small and three large that's enough for 13 players so what's our easiest route here is probably to multiply the bottom equation by negative four so i'm just going to leave the top equation alone and multiply the bottom equation by negative four, that'll give me negative four, sorry, that's supposed to be an S, negative four S minus 12 L equals 13 times negative four, which is negative 52. And then we'll add those two equations together. The S's cancel out. 
we get negative 8L equals negative 32. And when we divide both sides by negative 8, we get $4 for, or four people can be fed by a large pizza. Then I think I'll just use this bottom equation and plug 4 into it for the large. So four people. So S plus 12 equals 13. And then just subtract 12 from both sides. And a small pizza feeds one person. It's kind of ridiculous, but uh, that's the case. So a small feeds one, and each large feeds four. All right, so that's uh, solving systems equations using elimination. Uh, sometimes you got to change one equation, sometimes you got to change both. Uh, good luck.